we begin with our top story out of Fulton County, Georgia tonight, where disgraced anti-Trump district attorney Fonnie Willis has now turned the Atlanta court system into nothing but a joke. Now, today, the Superior Court judge in this case, Scott McAfee, all but accused Willis of lying, corruption, and frankly, gross misconduct. Uh, he slammed the, quote, financial cloud of impropriety surrounding her illicit affair and commingling of finances with the outside counsel that she uh, hired with hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer funds to help prosecute, of course, Donald Trump. Now, he called her bizarre outburst during testimony unprofessional. He accused both Willis and her lover, Nathan Wade, of, quote, potential untruthfulness. Uh, the judge even stated that, quote, an odor of mendacity remains. In other words, Fonnie's motives and actions as Fulton County DA stink to high heaven. He also rebuked Fonnie Willis for playing the race card during a recent speech designed to smear Donald Trump and others for merely exercising their legal rights. But of course, despite all the misconduct, Judge McAfee ruled that Fonnie Willis is free and clear to continue her quest against Donald Trump so long as she cans her former or current $654,000 lover, Nathan Wade. Does that make sense? Now, right on cue, earlier today, Wade officially resigned. It appears that Willis threw Wade right under the bus. Naturally, the taxpayers of Georgia, they will not be receiving a refund. And Fonnie Willis will not face any legal consequences. As one popular legal account on X pointed out, quote, Judge McAfee rules that only one potential liar can prosecute the case, but not both potential liars. Now, does that make any sense? Of course not. But she's a Democrat trying to prosecute Donald Trump, so I guess apparently uh, she's probably above the law. Still, the media mob, they recognize this as a devastating blow. Bonnie Willis is now embarrassing them, making their case against Donald Trump look petty and stupid, which it was from the beginning, and now lashing out. Watch this. This is such a huge body blow, almost a fatal blow to Fonnie Willis. I think the way forward is she has to voluntarily recuse herself. I don't know that she has it in her. The DA should consider recusing herself as well uh, as the case moves forward to allow it to do so cleanly. All of this, especially this language from the judge, and, and we're just skimming the opinion right now, I'm sure there's, there's likely more, it's really a gift to former President Trump and his co-defendants because they're not only going to fight this case on the merits, they fight it in the court of public opinion. Optics here matter. Any one of these statements by a judge would be a career ender for a normal prosecutor to have an on the record finding that there are reasonable questions about whether you lied under oath, uh, that, would be, that would be devastating. And we'll see what the political effects will be. The bottom line, the DA survives, but not without serious bruising, to use your analogy, sir. Now, even the Washington Post is calling the ruling a significant setback for Fonnie Willis. The New York Times also openly worried about the case and the new series of inquiries from the Georgia legislature and, of course, the Judiciary Committee that's led by Congressman Jim Jordan. Now, Chairman Jordan recently threatened to hold Fonnie Willis in contempt if she fails to produce subpoenaed documents by March the 28th. Make no mistake, despite Judge McAfee's ruling today, there are still many questions, lots of doubts looming over Fonnie's desperate attempt to get Donald Trump. Ultimately, why would anyone trust a DA credibly accused of lying and corruption? A person rebuked by a judge as unprofessional, a potential liar, tainted by a cloud of financial misconduct and racial bias. A prosecutor who is, what, above all else, a giant hypocrite. You might remember this. Because you're sitting with someone today that actually wants to make a difference. Because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees. Because they deserve a DA that won't put money in their own pocket. I certainly will not be choosing people to date that work under me. Let me just say that. Oh, those rules apply for thee, but not for Fonnie Willis. At the end of the day, well, devout Democrat Fonnie Willis brought a massive case with dozens of charges against Trump and several other Republicans. She then directed over $650,000 in Georgia taxpayer funds, uh, again, to her on and off again lover, Nathan Wade, to help prosecute the case. Now, Wade did not have much relevant experience, which is amazing, but was reportedly paid more than 
other outside counsels and during their personal and professional relationship and partnership, Fonnie Willis, well, she went on those lavish trips and vacations with Nathan Wade with the money she was paying him, or the taxpayers were. And apparently she benefited financially from that relationship. And yet, Fonnie Willis believes she has done absolutely nothing wrong. She truly believes she is above the law, that the justice system in blue cities, blue states is corrupt and biased beyond belief. As it stands now, no Republican or conservative will ever get a fair trial in these jurisdictions, especially not anybody with the last name Trump. This is nothing but a kangaroo court with political motives. It is rotting our justice system from within. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.